business. What you get is the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be able to be what? My witnesses in Jerusalem. All over Judea and Samaria. Even to the ends of the world. Acts 2, 1 to 4, the Amplified when the day of Pentecost had come. They were all together in one place. And suddenly a sound came from heaven like a rushing violent wind and it filled the whole house where they fire which were being distributed among them and they rested on each one of them as each person received the Holy Spirit verse 4 and they were all filled that is diffused throughout their entire being with the Holy Spirit okay okay maybe you missed it so and they were all is to be diffused throughout their whole being with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in other tongues, that is, different languages, as the Spirit was giving them the ability to speak out clearly and appropriately. In light of the theme of this amazing Holy Ghost old-fashioned camp meeting, I would like to snatch the text. Holy Spirit activate in a thunderous wind. Holy Spirit activate in a thunderous By offense. Activate was held up by offense. In order to appreciate the text, one must understand the root word of the predicate of the camp meeting, which is the word activate. Hence the etymology of the word activate in verb form derived in the 1620s and beginning to was to make active or to intensify. We went on to get the active as the first part of the word, which means given to wordly activity opposed to other actions. We broke it down and then we looked up the second part of activate. Eight is a verbal suffix from the Latin word are identical with the old English community that made verbs from the adjectives by adding verbal motion endings. And we go on, praise God, to go to the base of activate, which is infinitive in state because we do have some English teachers in here. And we also want to go to the past tense of activate, which is activated. And the third person singular simple present in indicative form is activate. And the present participle of activate is activating. And so, for a few minutes in my own little self that I would use the word activation and the Holy Spirit spoke to me he said activation is not even a common tense of the word activate rather they are similar in character and they are related but activation is not from the base word activate activate the action or process of making something or operative. 
the past part simple to activate it so that we can grow in our pedigree and our command of the English language. Activate in itself is a powerful verb. But we gather the facts with respect to the Holy Spirit. Activate. We've been studying for over two weeks. Holy Spirit. Activate. Activate. As a thunderous wind. But, but there are some things that stops the Holy Spirit from doing what he's supposed to do in us. Number one, jealousy prevents the Holy Spirit from activating in us. We go through life and we hold grudges. We hold things against people and we're wondering why I'm not anointed as the next person and the next person. Why? Because you're holding We catch up. 
Holy Spirit. 